even though you may see a sergeant on TV doing a patrol officer or detective's job, that's not your job. Your job is this. And so it's a matter of communication, which is really, if we're being honest, the thing that gets underplayed in fiction with the law enforcement field is how important communication is and how often communication saves the day. It took a few months of negotiation, but she was able to get my rights back for me. So when they gave the rights back, the ebook version just vanished. And there were still some print copies out there that people could order. But very soon, I got a letter saying, do you want the rest of these? You have to pay for them. Otherwise, they're gone. So very soon, those books were completely unavailable. If you've got a book and they have either purchased it or you've given it to them, you've got an audience right there. And I always wring my hands with, oh, and what did you put in the back of the book? Did you put ads for your other books? Did you? put anything that links them back to you in some way. And most people say, no. And I go, oh, I want to pull out what's left of my hair. You've got the best vehicle you could ever have. Why aren't you using that? One of the best things I've done is I do a retreat in early January. And this next year, I'm actually going to go to Mexico with a couple friends and writers. And that's really exciting. But it doesn't have to be like that. I've gone to a nearby motel and stayed there for two nights myself. And I have to say that is the most awesome thing after you've had many busy months of doing a lot of other stuff to just have this silence to focus on your work and think about, okay, what do I want to accomplish this year? The thing is, and this is true of every project in your writing career, not just NaNoWriMo, but you know, no one's going to come to your house and shoot you because you didn't finish a book by November 30th, right? So. Yeah. If you're stressed out to the point where it's affecting work, it goes back to what we we're saying in the beginning is you got to find ways to keep it fun. So if, it, if you're stressed out like that, you're going to burn out. And that's not, I think, the reason any of us sign up to do this. So all of these things, you ask yourself, how do those things reflect the big theme, the fortune cookie that is your story? And then you say, all right, I know how it affects it. Is that how I want it to be affected? And so the goal, ultimately, what I tell my students is by the time you are done editing your book, every single thing that is in your book should be there on purpose. 